about to get underway here at Quail Hollow in Charlotte, North Carolina. And Frank, as we look at the field for the strike and drive of the ball, Rory McIlroy's won twice around here. Um, obviously one of the premier drivers of the golf ball. J.B. Holmes, we know he's long, but also uh, amazingly straight for that length. Ricky Fowler on a good day is a great driver of the golf ball. And that's really what Quail Hollow um, not only requires, but demands. Contact, good result. Players still fighting the strong winds out there today. Up with the big boys now, Frank. Well, we saw that previous tee shot go 310. This one's first. It's a big mound in the middle of this green, rich, and the ball has a tendency to kick either side of that. Uh, so just be aware. Oh, solid strike right in the heart of the green. is a green in regulation as the approach shot hits the first green, but he is by no means... Frank, he might like this one. He might like it. Oh, he's got love it, Frank. Frank, this is a really fun hole, a pretty short par three downhill. Yeah, half a club, you can allow for that, so it won't play its full yardage. Um, you can really see that right part of the green. That's the most inviting one, but when they stick the flag on the left, you really have to be precise. This is straight at it. It's a really good line. Well, that is an exceptional shot on the green and in position for... Many leaderboards in your career, this is the way to do it, isn't it? Oh, there's plenty of holes ahead too, Rich. Third place, a really good position to be playing from here on in. Pretty good drive here. Another straight one. Frank, Rory McIlroy had his coming out party on the PGA 2010. You remember that final round 62? We certainly do, Rich. That great finish uh, to post 62. Personally, I thought that was the best round shot in 2010. And not just because it was his first win, but it showed you what he was capable of. Appears to be what they call a commercial play. Very solid. And hide the flag stick from that man. Frank, in today's modern game where players are hitting it so far, I always feel like one of the more exciting holes is a reachable par five, and here we are at the fifth, 570 yards. Yeah, this is reachable, providing you hit a good drive. Otherwise, it becomes very awkward on the layup. Um, you know, sort of often threading the ball out of. Yeah. I'm loving that balance. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Frank, you played in conditions all over the world. Here come the winds now. Tell yourself, and it's an advantage to you. Um, obviously, the scores will go up a little bit, um, given the conditions. But once again, this is going to suit the stronger player today. You like the old phrase, swing easy when it's breezy? Definitely when you're hitting it. Seems to like it. Good for the back part of the green.
on the green in regulation. in a second place with that birdie. Frank, this is where you know that players like Bubba Watson, Dustin Johnson, Rory McIlroy are playing a different game than guys like me. They step up to this 200... Today's uh, game, 530 plus change, you think is incredibly short. And look at the trouble in front. This is when the game is fun, Frank. Get one high in the air and you have a down breeze and just watch it stays in the air. Yeah, one more good swing and he's going to have an eagle putt coming up. I know you don't want to get ahead of yourself, but it is well on the cards. Well, there's a big green and they're going to use every inch of it. Professional golf, we're seeing more and more drivable par fours like the eight here at Quail Hollow, 350 yards. What do you think of this hole? It's not a bad hole. Uh, drivable, some might say, but the angle of the green means. like a little kid at school, Frank. That may be sitting up. Sitting up? It's got the best view as well. You know, Frank, we were commenting earlier in the day that this round had really gone wrong. Are, are you surprised that he's been able to put it back together? Well, certainly. He lost his composure, his rhythm. So, really, to be playing this well... Side. He's hoping to keep it going here on the back nine, Frank. The game is so much easier when you're swinging well, putts are going in. Really, you've just got to keep out of your own way. just 345 yards. Our players, no doubt, are looking for a little advice from a guy who's been there. You've done it at the highest level. What's the right play here? Rich, after all these years, I think it's like a modified... Well, this is 
looks good. There he is. That one is in the fairway, down there about 290 yards. Frank, how impressive has this round been? Just a beautiful approach shot. Today, new hole. Remember, he made a bogey here yesterday, this time for birdie. I'm going to make it from that distance. Now teed up at the 15th hole. It is the final par five here at Quail Hollow, 577 yards. And Frank, I remember this hole well. McElroy stiffed a five iron on his way to making Eagle his first PGA Tour win that came back in 2010. center of the club face. This has a chance to be close. Up to the 15th green. But looking at a tough putt. Considerably. <laughs> right, that's what you want to do. Good lag putt. Yeah, the count all. insult to injury to the rest of the field. Another birdie, and the gap even wider. A sensational performance. He makes a great pass at the golf ball. It's powerful, but it's rhythmic at the same time. Good strike, good lie, good chance to attack the pin. Should be safely on deck here. That is classic. Chunks are going up. Far. Now to the finishing hole here at Quail Hollow. Frank, what can we expect? If there was a name for this hole, Rich, it should be called Narrows. The the creek that meanders its way down the left side and actually divides that uh, that hole into really half the size of what a normal part. Uh, Tom Wise Golf was one of my idols growing up. I loved the way he swung. That swing right there reminds me of my Looks like Rory McIlroy Frank sticking the follow through. He has given this one the full tree arts. Frank, really good chance from this position to make a birdie. Yeah, really the only thing he's looking at right now is the flag. Uh, this is a green light spec. Here's to be what they call a commercial play, very solid. Chip victory.